Got some gas money. I'll compensate for your raging alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, not raging alcoholic addiction. A little bit of chips. When you're shit, man. What's up, guys? It's Curtis Wolfinger with Millspec Manufacturing. You got your shop going, right? You're making chips. But well, what do you do with those chips? On today's episode, we're going to be covering, taking, I got a bunch of containers of like aluminum, steel, got a couple of five gallon buckets of copper. You know, we're going to take all that over to the recycling center. All right, and I'm going to let you guys know the videos might be a little choppy because I want to respect these people. They are busy. You know, I don't want to get in their way. We'll try to do our best and keep this video fluid. Let's get this truck backed up and get, start getting loaded. As we pull up here you'll see the scale usually you would stop at this scale and weigh your metal but because we have different uh, types of material we're just going to bypass the scale so they can be weighed individually further in uh, to the building. So what they do is they, they take a magnet stick and they stick it down into the material to see if there's any, you know, steel inside your aluminum chips so they can, you know, know it's not pure and charge you accordingly. This gentleman is showing me the metal shavings that are inside my copper bucket that I brought in. Now after they went through all that material to see what is pure and what is not, they're going to bring out these containers and we're going to put that material inside those containers after I check to make sure yeah, they're empty yeah. which right now I'm going to be doing the pure aluminum then they're going to take that container and go inside the building and put it on an industrial scale and weigh it to see how much material that I've I brought in which you'll see here in a moment for this uh, pure aluminum Awesome, thank you. So I got 134 pounds of pure aluminum. Now we're going to put steel into this bin. Nice. Thank you. 
That's mix. mix. That, yeah. Now since we separated all the material here and scaled it all out, we're going to head over to the office and get our cash out. So when you come in here, you hand them your ID and your ticket that you got from uh, the scales, and then they give you a cash out ticket, and they also pay you in cash for your material that you bring in here. There you go, sir. Awesome. Thank you. Huh? Oh, you're rich. Let me see that got some, got some gas money. Now we can actually stop, slow down, take a moment to actually talk about what went on because that went through very fast probably as you saw while they were going through the material they had a magnetic wand that they were testing material with with that magnetic wand they're you know testing out the aluminum and the copper making sure there's no iron or steels in it and that way you know they uh they can properly charge you for what it is I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't get the best bang for my buck. Even though we had clean container containers, like washing out the containers, you know, and transferring the material properly, there was still, you know, a mixture of a couple chips, you know, in the copper. Even if it's like like a handful of chips, not, I mean like a little bit of chips, all right, it disqualifies that whole container of being pure. As you guys can see on the receipt, the difference in between having something pure and something with iron, like right here, the aluminum refinery being something that has, you know, has an iron content, it has steel chips in it, all right, they were only giving me four cents to the pound. That was 132 pounds. I got five bucks out of that, okay? Now, of pure aluminum that they didn't get no steel on, they were giving me 20 cents to the pound. That is five times the difference on value. So, and I had 129 pounds of that. So I got $25.80. Again, when you're doing chips, it's, you're not looking for a huge return. All right. Like the materials are already paid for, but you're just trying to, you know, compensate for your raging elf. Yeah, yeah, not raging alcoholic addiction, raging caffeine addiction, hopefully. Regardless, uh, I had them take all that mixed material because I was running out of space in the shop and I need to get it back. The awesome thing is when your company grows, you know, to a certain point, you know, instead of having to drive there and back yourself, you can set up an account with them to where they can keep a container at your facility, but you have to meet a minimum threshold of weight. I believe they told us like between 500 to 1,000 pounds, you have to have a minimum of material for them to pick up weekly. And, but for us, it's pretty simple. You know, they're only like two, three miles down the road. I mean, it'll work out for us. Maybe we'll grow into that. But hopefully this answers all your guys' questions. If you have any questions, as you always know, feel free to reach out. I like, like talking to everybody. All right. So thank you guys for being with us today on a, another episode of Becoming a Practical Machinist. And I hope to see you the next time. Take it easy.